In this video, let us see how to write the Verilog code for 3 cross 8 decoder using 2 cross 4 decoders. You can observe the figure on the right side of your screen. So the overall diagram is 3 cross 8 decoder, which contains 3 inputs and 8 outputs. Now I want to design this particular 3 cross 8 decoder by using 2 2 cross 4 decoders. So in order to write the Verilog code for this, first we need to have the Verilog code for 2 cross 4 decoder. So already I've explained you how to write the Verilog code for 2 cross 4 decoder. So let us start. So first click on file, new project. The project name that I'm giving is, so decoder, decoder 3 cross 8 using 2 cross 4. And this is the location where I'm saving my project. And here the top level source type should be HDL, which is hardware description language. Click on next, next and finish. So first initially we need to write the source code. So in order to write the source code, right click, new source, choose Verilog module here and give some file name. So my file name is decoder 3 cross 8 using 2 cross 4. Click on next, next and finish. So here we need to type our Verilog code, which is 3 cross 8 decoder using 2 cross 4. Here I'm following a style called as instantiation. In order to do the instantiation, first we need to have the code of 2 cross 4 decoder. So already I have a Verilog code of 2 cross 4 decoder. So simply what I'll do is I'll right click, I'll click on add source and I have the Verilog code for decoder 2 cross 4. Simply I'll add the .v file, which is a source code. Open. Okay. So if you double click on this, you can see the Verilog code for decoder 2 cross 4. So as I'm having the code directly, I'm adding it to my existing project. So if you don't know how to write this code, check out my previous videos. Now our actual code starts here. So if you observe the logic diagram of a 3 cross 8 decoder, which contains 8 outputs and 3 inputs. So here output is Y, input is A. Next comes port declaration. So in port declaration, output is Y, input is A. But here, if you observe outputs are, 8 outputs are there. That is starting from Y0 to Y7. So for this, we need to go for vector way of declaration. So output, output 7 down to 0, Y. Next coming to the input. So here three inputs are there, which is A2, A1, and A0. So in terms of vector, it should be written as two down to zero, which is two, one, and zero. So output seven down to zero Y, input two down to zero A. Next, we need to instantiate decoder two times. So simply what I'll do is, and here I have to paste it two times. Why? Because in our particular logic diagram, we have two cross four decoder, two times it is there. And we need to give some name to this. So I'll give as D1. And for the second decoder, I'll give name as D2. Now here in, we need to make changes in the same manner. So here, Y. So if you observe the first two cross four decoder, outputs are nothing but Y7, Y6, Y5, and Y4. So you need to make a change here as Y7 down to four. Similarly, if you observe the inputs for first decoder, so here I'm considering this one as decoder D1, which contains two inputs, which is A1 and A0. So it should be written like this, one down to zero. Next, the third input, if you observe here, it is having a name called as A2. So it should be written as A of two. Next, coming to the decoder number D2. So here, this is the second decoder, which is D2. And if you consider the output, output is Y3, Y2, Y1, and Y0. So make a change here. Three down to zero, coming to the inputs. Input for the second decoder is A1 and A0. So it is again one down to zero. Next, coming to the third input, the enable. So here, A2 is the input. This A2, after passing through the NOT gate, it is coming as an enable for decoder D2. So simply you need to give us a negation A2. So this becomes negation A of 2. Next comes end module. So the code will be very simple, but the thing is you need to have the very low code of decoder 2 cross 4. So this is first decoder D1, this is second decoder D2. So here Y7 down to 4. Why? Because outputs are Y7, Y6, Y5, and Y4. Coming to the three inputs, here the two inputs are A1 and A0. So A1 down to 0. Coming to the third input, which is enable. So here I'm considering input as A2. So it should be written as A of 2. Similarly, the same story is applicable for decoder D2. So here outputs are Y3, 
2 y naught so y 3 down to 0 and inputs are a1 a naught done next the third input enable is complement of a2 so complement is nothing but negation of a2 simply try to save this and double click on synthesis xht so synthesis completed successfully no errors and no warnings are there elaborate this one double click on view rtl schematic so this is decoded three cross eight using two cross four which contains three inputs and eight outputs double click on it to see the internals which contains two two cross four decoders followed by one not gate the same diagram you can see it on the right side of your screen similarly click on view technology schematic okay so here i buff is input buffer o buff is output buffer and lut stands for lookup table so once we are done with writing the source code part we need to type our test bench so in order to write the test bench right click new source choose very log text picture give some name so decoder three cross eight using two cross four underscore tb this is the name which i'm giving for my test bench click on next now here the thing is we are testing for decoder three cross eight using two cross four so choose this one click on next finish so it contains module module name inputs are treated as registers outputs are treated as wires and this is nothing but your unit under test means this is a particular module that you are testing so initial begin so in order to see the result in console window i'll add dollar monitor statement so dollar monitor is used to monitor the continuous changes in the values of the variables dollar time is used to print the simulation time so i want inputs followed by outputs also a is equal to percentile b which is input a and similarly y is equal to percentile b which is nothing but an output in the same manner type as a comma y so initializing input so initially a value of a is zero so simply i'll go with always statement in order to write the test bench so initially value of a is equal to zero so what i'll do is always for some delay so always for five nanoseconds of delay a is equal to a plus one click on save here choose simulation click on decoded three cross eight using two cross four elaborate isim simulator double click on behavioral check syntax click on simulate behavioral model click on zoom to full view in order to see this waveform properly hold control and scroll so here a is nothing but input y is output so when a is equal to all zeros you can elaborate this one also when a is all zeros output will be y not for 0, 0, 001 output should be y of 1 so that's the reason y of 1 is 1 next for 0, 1, 0, which is nothing but 2 so y of 2 should get activated so here it is 1 so 0, 1, 1 is 3 so 3 you can see it 1 1 double 0 1 double 0 is 4 so y of 4 y of 4 will get activated 1 0 1 which is 5 so y of 5 will get activated 110 is 6, which is y of 6 should get activated. 111 is 7, so y of 7 should get activated. The same thing is applicable. If you don't want, you can stop the simulation here by using dollar finish. So the same thing you can view it here in the console window. So check the truth table once. So whenever enable is equal to 0, whenever enable is equal to 0, even though if you apply any combination of input, so as it is in three inputs, it contains eight different combinations from 0, 0, 0 to 111. When enable is equal to zero, if you are applying any input, it is waste of use. It will be in don't care or else it will be zero. Whenever enable is equal to one, then inputs will be taken into the picture. So here this green colored indicates enable is equal to one and the different combinations are from zero, zero, zero to one, one, one. So for zero, 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 this y naught will get activated. So here it is one. Zero, zero, one is nothing but one. So y one will get activated. Zero, one, zero is two. So y two gets activated. 0 1 1 is 3 so y 3 gets activated 1 0 0 is 4 so y 4 gets activated 1 0 1 is 5 so y 5 gets activated 1 1 0 is 6 so y 6 gets activated 1 1 1 is 7 so y 7 will get activated remaining everything will be 0 the same thing you can see it here in the form of waveform so this is how we can write the Verilog code for 3 cross 8 decoder using 2 cross 4 but remember the important thing is you need to add your 2 cross 4 decoder code now let me show you how to take the printouts of this rtl schematics so double click on view rtl schematic in order to take the printout of this click on file print choose the location where you want to save so this is nothing but decoded 3 cross 8 using 2 cross 4 give some name to this rtl schematic of decoder 3 cross 8 using Two cross four similarly double click on this so that you can take the printout of this one also click on file 
print okay choose the location give some name if you want you can elaborate this decoder two cross four by double clicking on it if you want you can take the print out of this also click on file print Similarly, view technology schematic, take the printout of this, click on file. Now let us see how to take the printout of this waveform followed by console window. So go back to your waveform. So click on file, print preview. So this is a waveform. You can print, click on print. Okay, so waveform off. Then next, let us see how to take the printout of this console window. For this, go to the source code. Here click on design summary scroll down click on icm simulator log so this is your console window result you can take the printout of this one by clicking on file print give some name you can take the printout of the summary sheet also click on file click on print similarly take the printout of the synthesis report if you want you can copy paste this one copy go to the notepad paste it click on save Choose the location where you want to save. Synthesis report of decoder 3 cross 8 using 2 cross 4. I'll save it as .v file so that I can see it clearly. Done. So this is how you need to take the printouts of the results which you got.